everyone, today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm going to do a first impressions of the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. Um, a lot of artists are using this. I've been wanting to get it for a year. It can be quite expensive when you have to order it online and you live in a remote island like I do. I decided to start with the Pentel Aquash water brushes and I got their set that has the medium, broad and fine if I remember correctly at first I had them as water brushes but then I decided to put um, inks in them and use them like that but sometimes the ink would leak particularly with the fine one I had a lot of problems also the hardest thing was pouring black ink in the aquash The most important thing for me is the size. <gasps> They're the same? I found that this was too wide. I thought it would be smaller than this. I mean, look inside this thing. Can you see how much ink has leaked? So these are not the best way to go. Oh, I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. I'm assuming. What do I do? Do I just put that there? Remove cap. Okay, remove cap. Remove barrel. Firmly press the narrow end of the cartridge into the tip unit. Okay, I think I did it. I pushed it very firmly inside that little thing. So you're supposed to hold it vertically. I can see the black ink! Yes! Yes, black ink is going on the white bristles, which is a shame those white bristles were looking so good. Okay, that was easy. I was just very confused because I didn't know what to expect and I was scared. I didn't want to break it. I'm going to go ahead and try and write my name or something and see how that goes. It gets a bit dry. That's not even how I write my name. It's a nice black ink. It doesn't feel any darker or lighter than the black ink I already own. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this. I love it. Oh, <laughs> that's a very ugly heart. I don't draw hard, so yeah. But I just wanted to try this. Let me show you the line I would get with my with the Pentel Aquash and black ink in it. See, the tip is relatively the same. So as you can tell, it's much more wet and it's not as dark, I think. Let me see how thick. I just always felt that I didn't have the control I would like to have with this one and I would rather have something that is designed for ink. Okay, I can I can get the same thickness. It, it's pretty much the same brush. Let me just much darker this one is. I still feel like it's too dry and not as dark. It's like a dark, dark grey at the moment. It's very easy to get used to the, um, you know, thin and thick lines. Oh, it looks so sleek. I love it. So like I said, I've had experience with this type of um, brushes and inking with them. So this is not a hard transition. It feels very, very much like the aquash water brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some watercolor on top of this and see how the black holds. Oh, 
Oh, see? I just did these. They're smeared. So these were very fresh. So obviously, do not expect that as soon as you ink with it, you can erase your lines. So that was a nice little test to do. This I did ages ago, so let me see. Yeah, that's drying. Okay. until it dries so overall I'm very happy with it and I like it a lot I can't wait to try it more I think I will be drawing a lot more things with this in the future thank you for watching